I'm Chris Hollisfield. And when it comes to trouble teams, I've seen it all. You stay where I want to stay at. You don't want me to hit you right now. Give me my fucking money. No, you're not having it. It's not your money. It's my money. This is my house. I do what I want to do. Man, what's wrong with you, man? Is you crazy? The teams that come to me, their parents have given up on them. I, I can't deal with her no more. You're not going to in this house. Stealing I'm not money off of me. Oh, he's been spiraling out of control now for the last year, year and a half. Get off me. I'm sick of this. I don't want to clean my room. He just won't listen. He's out of control. I'm getting sick and tired of these people calling me every day, telling me you cut in school. What's up with that shit, man? They're on the verge of going to a detention center or even jail. I had enough. Before they get locked up, they got one last chance, and that's with me. Hopefully, Chris can help them out. I don't cut no slack because nobody cut me no slack. I'm Chris Hollyfield, standing tall. I'm glad you called. Man. I'm glad you called. Me. Where's uh, Tyler at? You're gonna be coming with me for a couple months. What do you mean, come with you? Like I said, you're gonna be coming with me for about 90 days. For what? Because like... if you don't change your attitude, you're going straight to jail. Let's go. I run a group home for troubled teens called One Haven Home. First and foremost, there's no excuse why you guys are here. It's here at this home. I'm determined to straighten out these kids. Not one. I am four foot four inches tall, and I didn't never make excuses. Being a professional wrestler with the WWE was hard, but having six troubled teams in my house at one time was one hell of a challenge. Oh, Ty bad, Tyrone, man. sit down, What's sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. I'm gonna call Steph. I'm trained in nonviolent crisis intervention, behavioral management, and therapeutic counseling. Well, I don't give a shit, because whoever don't like me can go fuck their self. My job? is to turn these kids around. I don't care! Fuck you! Get up, man. Take, take them in another room. I'm gonna take the TV out the room. Hey! Be quiet. Didn't I tell you to be quiet? Call the police real quick. <sighs> They're not all gonna make it. Where the fuck's my money at, the man? Fuck out of my face! I only have three months to turn them around. I need to talk to you. Let's go. I need to talk. We need to talk. You wasn't born with an attitude, but you need an attitude adjustment. Put me in your shoes. I don't know, I, I smoke, I'll admit it. I'll be smoking two blunts before I go to class sometimes. So let's, break, let's just break this down. They see me and the obstacles that I had to overcome shows them that they can achieve their dreams. You cannot expect respect if you don't respect yourself. And if you think it's a game, you're gonna find game is over. One of their biggest challenges is building their self-esteem. Once done, they will be successful. Because as soon as you leave, gives me the permission to call the cops on you, and I'll see you. Bye-bye. You're in my best interest. I will not let you be a liability. You will be an asset. So what's going to make it so different that you didn't want to listen to your parents, but now you, you say you're going to listen to me? Why is that so different? Because now I'm actually, now it's actually happening. You're not going to lose on my time. Oh, watch out. Watch out. Oh, oh, oh. It's all about the heart. It's all about what you decide to do, man. You say oh, something, Mr. Chris. The kids that come to me, they become a part of my life and a part of my family. When I first met Chris, I didn't think he was going to be able to help me. I was like, this little dude is trying to tell me what to do, and I don't know him. I was really angry. I started fights. I smoked. You hear me? Yeah. All right, I'm not against you now. You just got to understand that I'm not going to go tolerate the negative attitude. Life is good if you play by the rules. Oh, you, you, you get it? Oh, you're going to get it. It was hard, but I'm glad I did it because I think it will help me and my father get along better. The most important thing that I learned is I'm not living for today. I'm living for the future. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to see my parents so they can see how I've changed. I can say that I'm a different person. My mom's probably going to start bawling her eyes out when she sees my change in attitude. Because in the end, you win and I win. They're not all going to make it, but the ones that do will have a bright future.